advice would you give to a, a new leader in the public sector grappling with really extensive cultural change requirements? Um, advice for a new leader, that's always hazardous. I know. Um, <laughs> I would, um, I'd say take the time to diagnose uh, and make that a, that's for a new leader. That Rubik's Cube. Yeah, about get that, get, just understand, don't, don't take you know, advice from me or from anybody else, anyone's prescription for change, because it's likely that the organisational setting is unique and in some ways unique, in some ways general, but find out the unique, but find out what the trigger is uh, that, that, you can, that you can pull that unlocks things. I remember I went to work in a mill once, it was a big, tough industrial complex, and I knew that it was a very tough culture, and I knew the maintenance guys was quite tough. And I went and had a talk to them one day, and I was talking to them about the direction of the business and the key performance indicators and the need to get results and the rest of it. And this one guy, cranky old fitter from the back, yelled out and said, yeah, just fix my bloody floor. And I looked down at my feet and there was a lumpy, broken concrete floor, floor that we were asking him to work on every day. And I thought, yep, yeah, good point. I didn't say anything, I just left it and then went away and I, I went out to the, to, the, um, to the leaders and I said, why can't we just fix the bloody floor? And they said, oh, what costs a bit? And you know, and they've always bloody asked for it, but you know, we want them to focus on this. And, and I said, let's just fix the floor. And the next, so then I went back through, we fixed the floor, reconquered it and put a really nice little, um, uh, the sort of fiberglass sort of casing on it. So we didn't just do it, we did it really well. Then I went back and said, right, we've fixed the floor. Can we have another discussion now? And you know, they were amazing. So I think the, the, the lesson there is that, you know, what's the concrete floor? in the organisation because it's about a visible demonstration of your commitment to them as a leader. And to be doing the things that helps them to improve their performance, they want to perform. There's very few people that don't want to perform. Almost everybody wants to perform. They might have a different view of what performance looks like or how to get there, but they want to perform. So if you can get them in the same path as you, and a lot, a lot of the time that's about fixing the stuff that's really irritating them to allow you to move on to another sort of broader agenda.